Well, welcome everyone. And um, my name is John Dupuy, and I'm the CEO of Iowa Technologies. And they call me the chief practitioner because I use this stuff every day in my ongoing practice. And today I had the great pleasure of talking with Nadja Len, who is one of our major contributors to the whole transformational library that is iAwake. And we've been pals for a long time. And I can just say, I deeply love you. And you're like family to me. And you're just, you know, it's so good to be here with you, Nadja. And, and I followed your, your, just your history and your progress and your creative life for years now. And uh, it's such a joy. And you are in Deutschland in Germany, and I'm in the United States right now. But uh, anyway, it's good to be here. And mm -hmm. hi, Nadja. Hi, John. Thank you for the intro. Um, and it's so good to see you and to be back on, on iWake. I missed you. Yeah, same here. Thank God for the technology that the universe connected, that we can connect with our friends all over the world like this. Well, today we're going to be talking about a new product that we're releasing, which is called The Universe is Friendly. And I actually came up with that while I was listening to it. And I think it's a brilliant name for it. And it consists of two tracks. And the first one, what, what is the name of it? Uh, deep, deep Space. And mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's with uh, Delta Frequencies. Okay. And uh, I, the first time I listened to it, I was just, I had a, a deeply transpersonal experience. And for you guys who understand that lingo, it was beyond my persona, my, my little self. And it's like the, the, the kind of the walls of separation started going away. And I just connected to the bigger self, that, that great mystery that is everything. And it was very, very good. Hence the name. Uh, the universe is friendly. God, that's good to know. And that yeah. was a deep philosophical question posed by Einstein and I think Freud. And the answer is yes. Yes. So, um, so let me say also the, these are other other uh, tracks and and offerings that you've made uh, for us over the years. And I just love this. I've been using this stuff for years, and it just I, I meditate every morning with it. And kismet. Reenchantment, Theta Joy, B, B, E, Refuge, Strong Medicine, also named by me, so true, mm -hmm. and Workout Ecstasy, uh, one and two. And just to plug for that, I'm very, uh, I know, passionate about tennis game. And so I work out, do cardio and strength training, and then I go out and practice about 30, 35 serves. And I started using uh, Workout Ecstasy while I'm practicing my serves. My serve's getting dangerously good. It's mm -hmm. so aesthetic, so good. So if you guys are working out or doing anything like that, working on that kind of use workout ecstasy, it's it's absolutely brilliant. But that's not why we're here. We're here to talk about the universe is friendly. So Nadja, and I'll shut up thankfully for a while now, tell us about it, how you, the inspiration, the history, uh, what you did to uh, create this product. Yeah, uh, Deep Space, I intended to uh, to create a track which is very, very calm, where not much is happening, but still enough is happening to keep you um, uh, listening, want to listen to it. And I uh, made it with uh, Delta Frequencies. So you can also use it when you have trouble falling asleep, maybe, or you wake up in the middle of the night and you can't fall back to sleep, which some people maybe know. Uh, for me, that has been uh, the case for a long time. And it, it's really helped me uh, a lot listening to something that is not too distracting, but still there is some some room you can emerge into, and and um, deep space is a track where um, I intended to create a feeling of floating in space, and I think that's what what it sounds like. So um, I also included a, a very 
subtle, deep, uh, like an ancient drum sound that keeps you going, like a heartbeat, because I know that, for example, puppies are also human beings. When, when they are uh, falling asleep, they love having a, a heartbeat feeling next to them. So sometimes it can help when you're somewhere um, alone and you um, cannot, cannot sleep. So, I was using it earlier today, and when that when the heartbeat came on, it was just like, oh yes. Mm -hmm. And remember, it's like floating in space, but floating in the space of a friendly universe. Yes. You know, yeah. it's not a terrifying, awful, you know, existential void. It's not. It's oh. it's that anyway. Yeah, it it relaxes the brain. At least it relaxes my brain when I listen to it. Uh, and I, for example, I got stuck in, in mind loops or trauma loops or whatever loops are going on, fear, anxiety, uh, stress loops. And I listen to this. Uh, it just helps me relaxing because there's something my, my brain can hop onto like a like a rescue boat in space and it hops onto this rescue boat and floats out and and just relaxes and and lets go easy and in this this um offering you use a s m r is that correct that's correct yeah that's autonomous autonomous sensory meridian response i mean it, it sounds uh, it sounds like a big deal but it's actually just little uh, little sounds little recordings little effects that some people um, can feel actually going down their nervous system or going down their their uh, spine like a little shiver going down and I love that I also have this when when I listen to music any kind of music depending on certain sounds and frequencies and I always love when that happens it especially happens to me when I uh, listen to um certain vocal snippets in in certain types of music that's where i uh, found out about hey there is there is a, such a thing and um, you can actually uh, put it in um in the music and some people uh, some people's nervous system they are uh, sensitive to this and they like it and some just don't hear it yeah and the thing about these tracks are, uh, over time, it will change your experience. Like the Greek philosopher said, you can't step in the same river twice. Your brain yeah. transformed from you know time to time, and so you say you can't just say, "Oh, this is what it does to me," because the the it just keeps evolving and changing as we do, and the universe changes. Yeah, that that's why why we call it brain entrainment. Uh, because uh, it's there to change your brain and to ease your brain and to to uh, be more relaxed and uh, yeah. Yeah, and I just want to say a little more about you. You are have been a leader in the electronic music world for many years now, and um, and uh, so you bring a great musical and aesthetic sensibility to all the tracks you produce, as well as a, just a high degree of technical know-how, how to get these sounds and, and on top of that, the entrainment part. And, and not only, uh, I used to, uh, when I first met you, you were traveling all over the world to do parties and, and do these things. And then you kind of got out of that phase where you're producing music for people still seen as a, as an expert in, in this field, very technical field. And, uh, and, and couple of that, you've done so much work on yourself. You know, <laughs> we've been friends for a long time. So you're not just like this scientist that is trying to fix other people, which you're doing. Thank you. But it's also been your own process of healing and developing this technology and music and beauty as it comes through you and your own experience. Yeah, that's that's true. I can really say that that I'm <laughs> working on myself. I've been working on myself. I mean, uh, more than I haven't uh, <laughs> throughout my life. So, yeah, I'm constantly uh, working um, on whatever whatever comes to me organically. It's not that I'm 
digging all the time but what comes to me naturally and what i feel is is my time to to try it out i do it and um but but the um brain wave and entrainment and these ambient music uh, i've been creating for like 10 years or more i can't even i can't even tell <laughs> I would say more. Uh, they really stuck with me. They stuck with me when I was the totally traumatized human being, not able uh, to sleep at all, nightmares all the time, uh, total anxiety and, and panic attacks and all that. All these things that come with uh, post-traumatic stress uh, symptoms. And, and I can really say that these ambient uh, brain entrainments have saved my life and changed me because uh, it was my only rescue then when nothing else was helping me and I could find at least like 20 minutes or whatever the length of a track was I could really get my brain and my nervous system into some kind of relaxation and feel empowered afterwards and and recharged do you say recharged no charged. recharged exactly yeah. yeah 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 and i'll just throw in there me too technology and, saved my life i was yeah. in a very dark depressed often suicidal darkness yeah. where yeah. death is no longer scary death is seen as you know if you can stop all the suffering I want some. And people who haven't been there find that hard to understand. But it was through this technology that I began to actually release a lot of that trauma that was all in my body and uh, start getting to a place where I could hold it in a larger context. And again, the universe was friendly. The context was good. And it helped me go through this stuff. So I'm, I, um, I mean, that, that led to starting I Awake and, and the passion. That yeah, I, I remember. Yeah, I was there. I know you before you started. I awake with uh, Pam. Yeah. Wow, that's right. It was because of my work in recovery. I think. That yes. we, that's right. <laughs> Amazing. Oh. Yeah. And um, the the tracks are um, they made me want to listen to them because I there is there are many. Um, tracks or, or music or meditations out there of course but if you don't want to listen to them and you're already stressed out and ha can get no sleep and have anxiety and are depressed you know that part of being depressed is uh, having no energy to do something and and if somebody says yeah listen to this or do that meditation and it doesn't get you right away you feel like oh i need to work through it it doesn't work. So it needed to be something that I really like to listen to. And this is what uh, my music is for me because it's my music. I do it like I want it to sound like. Right. So, yeah. Mm. And that's why it, why it helped me. And it's, it's all also helped me through my whole uh, uh, travel, crazy travel uh, experiences when I was DJing around the world and I uh, didn't have sleep because you you fly through the different time zones and then you have to go to the sound check and then dinner and then you are in the hotel room and okay, I have now two hours. Uh, do I go to sleep? Oh, but if I wake up, I will be like, like yogurt and in my brain. So, but but then I had this rescue to uh, listen to half an hour of, of this um, incredible brain entrainment ambient music. And afterwards I was just fit and ready to go. So this also saved my, my yeah. DJing um, career, so to say. Yeah, and you were doing it all all that sober, you know, in you know, in that in that crazy realm where there's a lot of lot of substances being used and everything. You were leading this thing just from the energy of your 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 soul, I guess, and staying sober and all that stress and everything during that time. So that's a amazing, deep, deep bow to that. And yeah, I, and often at times we we find our path and our way to serve the world. We do what what's helping us, and then we want to give it back. Uh, to help others so that definitely uh, I share that same uh, that same motivation and experience also I just wanted to maybe maybe one last thing what was it that 
Um, what was the the spark, the initial spark of inspiration that got you creating uh, the universe is friendly? Um, it was the uh, second track, the oceanic, which is a little longer and with uh, theta waves. Uh, with this track, I wanted to create some kind of underwater floating feeling. So it, it was like a, um, I wanted to create a floating feeling out in space and a floating uh, feeling underwater or yeah, being in flow with something. So that's what, what my intention was uh, with these tracks. Yeah, beautiful. And and uh, you, before we release anything, I awake, we, things go through alpha testing and beta testing and uh, this whole thing. And we don't, not everything is accepted. We have to, you know, see what people's experiences and not only the science, but what are, what are the phenomenological reactions that people have using that. And we have a great team of people that are very serious about this stuff and really let us know what's going on. And this was just a, just a big, just really powerful. It's really yeah. good. Keep and growing. I think it's um the tracks are uh, not as melodic maybe like kismet or b um are but um they are still not dark they are calm but not dark they they don't put you in a in a dark space they they float you on in in a nice environment yeah yeah and for me it helps me to achieve inner stillness and then connection with a, yeah. a greater with a greater reality that that I'm not always aware of you know in, in my my day-to-day -day stuff and uh it's it's just yeah, it's a great spiritual tool and uh the only thing about this you actually have to use them right <laughs> you have to uh have to do it and uh so i i've learned for many years of practicing that the best time to do this is early in the morning if you get up get your tea coffee go have your little place you know that sacred safe spot for you to do your practice and uh don't switch on the phone and start doing all the mail and and, and the news and all that stuff there's a time and place for that, but but do your practice first, and this will just take you into a very very deep center place where you can um, you can do all the things that the master meditators for thousands of years have been teaching us to do. It just becomes much more effective and expanded using this technology that the universe is providing uh, for us through people like yourself, Anaja, and for these times that we're living in. And um, yeah. And and I also uh, love to listen to these tracks um, during day when when I worked a lot in, in front of the computer, a lot of telephone and stuff. And then I feel kind of mm, kind of tired or tense. Uh, and then I know, okay, I take twenty minutes or forty minutes off. I go uh, into my room, I lay down, I put uh, uh, the, the mask, uh, mask the, 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 the blindfold, uh, the, the mask on, um, blanket, cover myself with a blanket because after lying down, uh, the body uh, cools a little bit down. So, and I put my headphones on and I just go and, and switch off the, the phone, like you said, flight mode and, um, then I go through one of these tracks and I'm completely changed uh, when I come out the other end. I'm, I'm completely charged. I'm, I have energy. I'm lighter. I feel uh, I'm in a good mood and um, I can start uh, working again. Brilliant. So yeah. is, I've been using these tracks uh, for so many years and I use them every day every every day because they are really my rescue uh during day and also uh to fall if you cannot sleep at night to fall at, uh, to fall asleep or if you wake up to um, get back into sleep they are also really really helpful yeah and i, I find and most people report at least 80 percent of the people that use this technology as, as part of a daily practice is that your dream life becomes much more powerful 
you yeah. know, I mean, holy cow, you know, my dream life is every, every night I go into some other part of the universe and stuff is working out through me and it makes it that much more vivid. And it's also very good for thinking. You know, you think that, that this technology is just to stop thinking. Well, true to create inner stillness, which is a central part of, of deep meditation. But also one of the levels that works on is helping us think creatively. And we have issues and problems, whether it's uh, something that's going on in our lives or looking for direction or just in our work, trying to figure out how we're going to get to this next level or do what we need to do. If you go down and hold that thoughts and you can start thoughts begin to emerge. That's not just the scattered monkey mind, but from a very deep uh, seems almost a guided uh, wisdom that emerges. Yeah. yeah. Big help. Yes. That's exactly uh, uh, right. So this is the the power of um, of the music and uh, theta waves. I would say where you uh, tap into where you kind of stop the the analytical mind and you tap right into your big mind, your your subconscious mind, where all your wisdom is anyway, but you have no access because the analytical mind is so dense and so narrow and slow, and you can only uh, think a certain amount of, of thoughts, uh, mostly repetitive thoughts, and, and the whole wisdom is, is down there, but you cannot access it. And, and through getting still, and and uh, through theta, uh, going through the theta uh, phase, you can access that. It's the phase where your body is asleep and your mind is still awake. This is the 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 uh, theta door to the unconscious or to the subconscious where you can access and and also reprogram uh, uh, patterns that you want to reprogram, like habits and um, yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, compulsive habits and yeah. addictions and all this stuff is a huge help. And I, I've been using it in that field even before I awake. I, I discovered that it was a huge, huge aid in helping people heal because it was actually saving my life at the same time. Mm -hmm. So thank you, my dear. Anything else you'd like to leave uh, our 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 family, our sangha, our listening audience, people that are, are listening to this with? Yeah, I mean, try it out really really try it out and uh, do the whole cycle and really put your phone on uh, flight mode and um, don't get distracted because it's important to have this this whole uh, experience um, until the end or until you uh, get out of it by yourself or until the track ends because if you um, interrupt this you you probably don't have as much benefit as when you listen to the whole uh, track because they are made like that and and it really really helps to um, energize and calm yourself down and get in in a, a lighter state of of mind and mood and and they really changed my life so I know they are really powerful yeah so uh, yeah uh, the universe is friendly. And I think you can see from this, since you're dealing with uh, the, the creation of a very wise, deep, powerful, experienced, insanely talented uh, human being. So uh, thank you for, for, uh, for all you're doing and, and uh, all the lessons you've learned and all the wisdom you've accrued and how you're able to put that into something that we can all use and benefit from. It's truly a great gift. And uh, just thank you so much. It's great seeing you again. Thank you. Thank you, John. And uh, thank you for iWake um, and for spreading this uh, amazing tools through people who really use them and uh, can heal and, and really change for the better through it.